Last couple of days, uh, folks have been scoring some pretty cool deals on uh, discounted items during Amazon's Prime Days. And now all those packages are headed to homes, right. but there's still a potential obstacle in the way between you and whatever you bought. Mm talking about porch pirates this morning. Now, Erie News Now's Kara Jeffers is live on our porch, we could call it, the, the uh, first morning weather deck with more on uh, what police are saying uh, you can do at home to keep those purchases safe. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Mark and Tracy. Yes, prime days have come and gone, and now people are waiting for their bargains to arrive. But you might not be the only one waiting. Security.org estimates that package thefts will increase by 40% in this week following Prime Day. I talked with Mill Creek Police Department to get you tips on the best ways to beat porch pirates. And it starts with using tools at your disposal. The best thing you can probably do is uh, to actually track your package, um, ensure that somebody's at home to receive the package when it arrives. The packages come in special instructions. Um, you can have the delivery guy drop it off from back. If you have a mudroom, um, maybe even a garage. Um, have them put it in there, out of sight, out of mind. And no better time than now to act neighborly. Um, if somebody can't be home, it's always good if you're good with your neighbors, friends with your neighbors, have a family friend, um, somebody in the area that can come and pick, a pa pick the package up for you. Other practical precautions? Invest in a door cam. The, the video doorbell cameras, um, those are pretty popular nowadays. Um, those are really good at preventing, preventing people from actually coming up and taking your package. And let's say they do take your package, then you have, you know, factual proof, then you can bring that to us and then we can start an investigation that helps us out a lot. Security.org reports that most Americans don't report package theft unless the item is over $100 and or they have a doorbell camera. People do ask for refunds, so businesses often carry the financial burden of the crime. Deterrents for porch pirates range from harsher penalties to bait package programs run by police departments. Regardless, any porch piracy can be prosecuted as theft. It's, you know, it's not worth it. Let me, let me just tell you that. It's not worth it. Um, you know, $100 could be five, six, seven hundred dollar fine, um, possible jail time. It all just depends. Security.org also says that 54% of Americans have been victims of porch pirates and package theft. So I hope some of these tips can help you avoid joining that statistic and that you can avoid some of the frustration that comes with it. Mark Tracy, back to you.